nobody can compete with the queen of Hollywood naughty novels. <laughs> That's how I'm going to call it here. The queen of naughty novels. Naughty novels. I've never been called that before. But you have been called naughty though. I guess so. Now, now let's talk More about the actual price wars itself. You've got your new book out, Drop Dead Beautiful. Yes. Do these price wars affect you? Not really. I mean, I call myself uh, Harry Potter for the grown-ups. Because <laughs> I'm so over all these people. You know, you go into a bookstore now, and I was signing books all throughout the valley today, which was great fun, because I would go in and have a fabulous display, and I'd think it was a fabulous display, and then suddenly I'd see 75 tables covered in Harry Potter. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, I don't think so. Now, in terms of the actual money that you earn from books. I've always been interested to know, if you come in at like the entry level, it's your first book, how many cents on the dollar do you actually make? And so then it, does it go it, up? It really depends on what your agent does for you. Right. You know, he either gets you 10% or he gets you a 15% commission. And whatever he gets you, that's what you get from the book. And you know, I've never worked it out. <laughs> you just know that you're very wealthy. That's trust, lovely. I just trust him, you know. <laughs> now, hmm, we're going to get to the new book in just a moment. But I want to talk about the whole thing about these naughty girls in Hollywood, the Paris Hiltons, the Lindsay Lohans. Now, of course, you were around in the early days, you know. Well, I Oscar, knew Paris when she was 10 years uh -huh. old. But you also knew the girls, not those girls, yes. but, you know, Sister Joan and all the rest of it in those early days. Uh, your husband Oscar ran Tramp in London, one of the most famous nightclubs ever. Yeah. Did all the starlets just get up to as much then as they do now? It wasn't so much the starlets, it was the guys. I've oh, always really? been watching the guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> we would have all the rock stars would come into Tramp, you know, the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, Eric Clapton, they'd all be hanging out. And so um, we would watch and all the action was very interesting. The girls weren't that interesting, but the guys were really fun to watch and, and kind of, you know, see what they were going to do. But I've known Paris since she was 10 years old, and she's a very sweet girl, incidentally. Mm -hmm. Do you think, though, in those old days, they just got away with more because there was not as much, no, no paparazzi? No paparazzi. Yeah. The paparazzi chronicles everything. I mean, who cares about Brittany running in the sea in her underwear day? I mean, nobody. But, you know, there was a dozen paparazzi there. How did they know she was going to get out of her car and run into the sea in her knickers? <laughs> Fortunately, she had knickers on. For a change. For a change. Yes. There we are. Yeah. Now you've got the new book out, Drop Dead Beautiful. It features, I think, and I'm saying this because yeah. I'm a person who has read all your books, Lucky Santangelo, the favorite character of them all. I love writing about Lucky. She's such a great woman to write about. She's so strong. And you know, women read her and they go, oh, you know, I broke up with my boyfriend. I was lying on the floor having a fit. And then I thought, what would Lucky do? And so I got really strong. She's owning a casino in Las Vegas. She's building a new one. She's being chased by an enemy. Her 16-year-old daughter is meeting unsuitable guys on the internet, and her best friend is uh, going out with a studly movie star who's 13 years younger than her. So she's got a lot going on in her life, as usual. <laughs> Lucky Sant'Angelo rules. And it's all the stuff we just love to read. So there we are. I Drop Dead so. Beautiful is out. Already in the, the top five in the New York bestsellers as well. Absolutely. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Rob. Thanks so much for joining us, Prime Always News. Always a pleasure. Carlos Lila, back over to you guys. Okay, and thank you so much for joining us here, Jackie.